Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and I'm doing something I haven't done in a while. So I haven't had a lot of luck with Dutch pours but today I thought I'd give it another go. But the difference is this time I've decided to go just paint and water uh, which I haven't tried yet but seems like a lot of artists have success with just paint and water. Uh, I've mixed these colours up they do look like they've got a fair amount of bubbles because I've only just mixed it. But I'll go through the colours that I've got. I've got Amsterdam Titanium White here mixed with water. Uh, that will be my base. Then I have the Ultramarine Violet, the Prussian Phalo Blue, the Cobalt Blue and these are all Amsterdam. And then this one is the Extreme Sheen Deco Art Aquamarine. Now I've just bought a bunch of these colours, so I'm looking forward to trying them out. So I've only made a tiny bit of that. Um, it's just the accent colour that will go on the top. So let's get started. Okay, so because I haven't touched the hairdryer in months, I... I'm going to blow my white out using the hairdryer. Um, I hope I've got enough white here. I really wasn't sure how much to make. There's probably about 150 to 175 mils in there. Oh, it seems thick. Let me just pour a little bit on. Is, is that... Maybe that's... I don't know how thick to go. I'm going to water this down a fraction more, the white. And then you guys probably all have similar, I don't know if you're successful with this Dutch pour or not, but um, I mean, see that seems really runny. But when I poured it on, it seemed a little like maybe it wasn't really enough but we can only test it with the hairdryer all right but that to me looks thicker than i've seen other people use let me know in the comments what you think because i need help <laughs> uh, if you're new here i've been doing acrylic pouring for about five months so i'm learning as i go and if I learn anything along the way, I try and help and let you know what I found. All right, I don't think that's enough paint, but I want to try the dryer on a low heat to start with. Right. So it doesn't move it very well. Now, I found when I put it on high, it just like, it goes nuts. So let's try it. And I'm worried about it splattering everywhere. I don't know if I, I don't think I've got enough paint guys. This is not a good start. Cause I need a bit to pour around. Oh no. I've never done that before. I've, spray, I've splattered paint everywhere. I'm going to have to clean that up. I'll be back. Okay. So I just scraped that off and put it back into my container and then added a more, some more paint and some more water. It's still... Let's see how this goes. So I still need to leave a little bit left in there for pouring around my paints. Let's try this. Okay, not quite enough paint, that's alright. 
Let's just put a bit more on. Okay. Now we've got enough on the sides. Just gonna rub that on along. Well, so far, just make sure my corners are covered properly. So far it looks like a normal Dutch pour progression. <laughs> uh, you can't really muck up just white, right? Surely, I guess you could, but it wouldn't be easy. All right, so we have a nice, wet canvas now uh, I'm going to pour the puddles off to the side a bit then I'm going to pour the white around use the hairdryer to go over and then go back the other way and fan it out that way so I'm going to start with my cobalt this is the exact name is cobalt blue and then it's got ultramarine in brackets. So I'm going to start with that. So I didn't make a huge amount of paint because I didn't want to waste it. I don't know if I put too much on either there. I'm going a contrasting colour. I love this colour, one of my favourites at the moment. And then I'm going the purple uh, or ultramarine violet. And then I've got this beautiful metallic. I hope I've got enough of that. Okay, so far so good. Put these, some extra white around. And I'm going to torch it. Okay, so far so good. It's looking the way it should, I believe. Although, I know I've seen more cells for other people so like even when you just pour the white around so i am wondering if my paint is too thick but only time will tell all right let's blow this white over actually i might do that on low speed i mucked that up i think I needed more white to go over. I could try doing a bit more. Not much in the way of cells. All right, here we go. Just trying to decide. I've got a straw if I need it. I want to use my mouth. Oh, I just got paint all over my shirt. I just dipped in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Might just pour a bit of white over that. Um, 
wonder if I should take this bit out. I don't know what I think of this bit. I think I've got some good practice in editing it a bit. Um, I would like to take that white through there again. Let's try it again. I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay, here is the wet result. So, I like the colour palette. This up here is all a bit too blended, I think. Um, there's some nice lacing just there. 
I like the blue through there. My metallic aquamarine. I'm not sure how that's going to go. I think I think the very first uh, blow I did with the dryer was not enough to fold the white over the paints, and that's made this the uh, aquamarine. It made it too blocky at the start. So I'm going to have to keep practicing this. Um, I like this size canvas for practicing, I think. So I might have to go and buy some more of those. And uh, yeah, please give me any hints. Was my paint too thick? Or was it too thin even? Did I have my dryer on the wrong angle? There's all these things that can make a difference to how it turns out. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, I struggled with the swipe technique. And then I finally, it finally clicked. So, hopefully I can uh, have the same success with the Dutch pour. Anyway, I'll show you when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And let me show you the shine. So that's the extreme sheen in the aquamarine. Now, while this was wet, I did stick my finger in it um, on the corner. And then I tried to add, I don't know if you can see that bump there, I tried to add a bit of white on top and it hasn't worked out very well. So note to self do not touch it until it's dry so i might leave this one for you guys to decide what it's like i really want some advice on the dutch pour um i like this little bit of lacing through here and there's some interesting stuff going on up here but i'm not sure what i think about that i do think um, the editing that I did was really good practice. I think that's something that I want to be able to do more of so that I can get good compositions. So well worth doing that. I like the colours, although I feel like it needs something else. Like maybe the colours are all too similar or maybe there was too much green or aquamarine going through it but yeah not too bad um, probably my best Dutch pour to date I would say so I can't complain about that I'll just uh yeah I'll have to keep practicing uh, it was very interesting doing it with just the water so um, let me know in the comments what if you're doing the Dutch pour and what sort of medium you like to use for the Dutch pour, anything you can tell me, I'd be most grateful. So yeah, that's it for this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.